Hello, in this quick tutorial we're going to talk a little bit about the gap analysis question type that we've recently added to our survey manager. And I'm here in the survey manager, uh, which is our survey authoring tool. And I'm in a test account and I've already created a survey. Let's just go search for it here. There it is, gap survey. And I am going to, um, before we edit it to show you how we created the gap analysis, why don't we go to a preview? And I can preview in a variety of ways since our system supports mobile apps as well as mobile web, even online surveys. So we'll just do it in an online survey for HTML5. So here is a, a very typical gap analysis question where we have placed two questions side by side that have common response scales and common attributes or questions that you want to compare. So I can go ahead and compare uh, our other stores, let's say, versus our store. Of course, our store is most excellent, so we'll give it a high, high ranking. And that's how we would pre then progress through the rest of the survey. So I'm going to close that preview and now edit the same survey and show you how we got there. Okay, so here we are in our wizard, our create survey wizard, and I'm going to edit the first question. And here in the first question, you'll see we've added at the, at the bottom, and it has to be in a matrix question. So you're going to create, in this case, at least two matrix questions that you're then going to compare side by side in the same screen. Okay, so this is the first question. It is a matrix question. And you'll see the gap analysis option, which has just recently been added, has the check bar, box checked. And when that is checked, new functionality appears on the screen. So let me uncheck it and show you what it would normally look like, a matrix question. Okay, this is a normal matrix question, but let me go ahead and check that gap analysis and you'll see new uh, areas of the screen have expanded with new functionality. So now I have compare with question. This wants to know, okay, you're going to put this side by side with another matrix question. Where in the system, where in your survey instrument is that other question? And it's other stores. Okay, so that's the one. And of course, it's critical that you compare apples and apples here. You don't want to compare one matrix question that has a different response scale uh, or different attributes uh, to, to uh, another question. They have to be identical. Um, and so we're comparing our store against this other question, other stores, right? That's the, the logic here. And now we also have the ability to add in a common question text, which will appear above both of the questions. And we can also control the formatting of the screen. If, if you recall, we had uh, when we previewed, and actually I have my iPad here, so I can use Air Server just to show you how this would look on an iPad. It's the same exact survey, but now mobile web my, in mobile web mode. Now let me go uh, landscape to give us a little bit better. So, you know, I can use my finger and just tap different responses here. And so what I was talking about is this 80-20 here. So we have 20% of the screen space dedicated to the, um, the attribute text. So if you didn't want any wrapping and you had more than we only have two or three words here but let's say you had more of a sentence and you want to avoid wrapping then you could dedicate more of the screen to your response text and less of the screen to the button area so that's what these uh, areas and you always want to in, you know equal 100 percent so this could be 30 and this could be 70 or 40 60 however you want i just wanted to show you visually on the screen what that will impact um, and here are our attributes or questions and our response scale. We've just selected a seven point scale, but it could be anything you want. Um, so that is how you set up your gap analysis question itself. And let's go ahead and save this. And now um, we have saved our question. We can preview it as we already have or continue through the survey wizard. But uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I, I really only wanted to focus on how you author your gap analysis survey. We've seen that both in HTML5, which by previewing here, you have the option to preview as well as we've seen it on the iPad itself. And I'll just rotate so you can see this is actually an iPad in my hand uh, using the emulator Air Server. So thank you very much for your time, and this uh, concludes uh, this particular tutorial.